Hello everyone, Taylor Johnson here. Uh, it's time again for our monthly market report of real estate market in uh, the DC region for April of 2022. You can see here that the median sales price has again increased. It's now bumping up against uh, 600,000. Um, it's up 9% from last year. Closed sales are down, new pending sales are down, new listings are down. Uh, median days on market has not changed. It's six days. Showings are down and months of supply has decreased. So um, there's uh, some deeper things to look at here. We'll move on. But uh, the main thing to think about in this category is that home price remains strong, particularly fast price appreciation in the region's suburban markets. We'll look at that in a difference in a minute. Inventory may have bottomed out as supply increased quickly between March and April, but there's also the usual spring bloom um, where we get more listings and so on. So maybe that's what we're happening. We don't know. Uh, the home demand index has increased uh, again this month. This is the, um, it has risen four months in a row following a seasonal lower December. And though it has risen each month during the spring home buying market, the index remains below what it was a year ago. Now, that's really not fair to say because last year, despite the pandemic, was a blow the roof off the market year. Everything was exceptionally crazy. It was the best year in, in decades. So, uh, to compare to last year isn't quite fair. This year is still better than it was the year before last year. So um, we're in pretty good shape that way. And demand has increased more slowly during the past two months. Um, and we credit that, or they, Bright MLS credits that to higher mortgage rates perhaps has decreased affordability a little bit and limited inventory. You should keep in mind that high-end single-family homes have a demand index of 295. That's crazy. Here we're looking at the average at 126 as being moderate. 295 is out of the roof. Um, so that's for higher priced single-family homes. And uh, it's also somewhat high for mid-priced single-family homes and condominiums. Inventory has changed very little. So if we're looking at the uh, April median sales price, it's up about 9%. I'd like to point out here that the region's median sales price is now 166000 higher than it was five years ago. Don't you wish you'd bought five years ago? Um, we've seen a projection that rates will, uh, home prices will continue to appreciate even next year, uh, there's talk perhaps of somewhat of a recession of some sort. Um, even Fannie Mae has predicted fourth quarter of 2023, a recession, a mild recession, but home prices will still increase 3%. So um, uh, you should get in sooner if you can, right, rather than wait. Um, the fastest price growth was in Loudoun County and Frederick County. Median prices in Alexandria City and Arlington County fell a little bit in April because of more condo sales in the area rather as compared to homes. Um, so you can see here uh, the median price for these areas. Prince George's County continues to be one of the areas where there's more opportunity to buy at lower prices. And despite the increase in Frederick County, Frederick County is also a place where you can continue to buy at uh, more moderate prices. Now the closed sales numbers have decreased for five consecutive months. Um, but uh, sales are up a bit in March and April. And um, remember, Falls Church City is always a, an outlier because it's such a small area. So I tend to sign it kind of not really look at that if I'm looking at uh, general statistics for the whole region. 
Uh, compared to the fast pace of year ago, home sales were down using across all housing types, with the fastest drop among sales of single family detached homes. Now, okay, I, I just said that the demand was way up for single family home. Here I'm saying that demand that sales are down. And the reason for that is because there's no inventory. You can't have sales if there's no inventory. Um, and we'll look at that in a second as well. New pending sales, um, how about active new listings? The number of new listings was down 13% compared to a year ago. New listings were lower compared to a year ago for the past two months. Uh, so if we look at DC, we've got Listings are down 17%, Prince George's County, they're down 0.5, Montgomery County, so forth. So this is why pending sales are down, is because inventory is down. Active inventory. The inventory in the Washington, D.C. region has been declining since late 2018 and continued to fall in April compared to a year ago. The number of active listings at the end of the month was down 22.5% compared to April last year which is 1,629. The sharpest decline was in the condo inventory. So condos have been sitting for a little bit and now they're being snapped up. There are not new ones coming on the market. So the active inventory for condos is shrinking while uh, there are actually more sales in condos because those ones that have been sitting for 70 days to 100 days are now being sold. Um, and no new or fewer new listings are coming up. Um, median days on the market remains for the region at six. You can see here wherever your home is or where you're thinking of buying, all of the numbers are very low. What this means is if you enter the housing market, you have to make this a high priority. Most homes go active on Thursday, so you have to plan to be ready to go look Thursday or Friday in order to have an opportunity to see the home and think about it and put in an offer before someone else gets it. Um, okay, 10 year trends. Uh, you can see here the median sales price overall has continued to go up over time. Detached homes have had the greatest increase. And then townhomes the second. And finally, condos okay uh, and lastly here months of supply no not last yet I've got one more point months of supply what this means is if we look at um, how many homes are currently on the market and there are no new homes that come on the market how long will it take to sell all the homes currently listed in 2013 it was 2.6 months Starting in 2019, it was right at two. Uh, 2020, a little less than two. 2021, just slightly over one. And this month, uh, for actually much of the past six months or so, we've been under one month of inventory. There just are no homes for sale. You've heard about multiple offers and people scrambling to buy homes and so forth. This is why there are not uh, enough listings. So um, it, there are strategies that we can employ to uh, reduce the chances that we're gonna have multiple offers. But uh, I also find that as soon as we show interest in a property, somebody else starts to as well. Um, now here's another thing to think about too, uh, for the last 10 years at least, um, the median sales price to list price ratio is 100%. So again, if you do not pay a dime over asking price in this region, that is a win. Other parts, maybe Baltimore or other parts of Maryland is a slightly different story, but certainly in the DC region, you should expect to pay asking price or a little above. All right, this is Taylor Johnson here with Keller Williams Capital Properties. I'm part of the N. Garcia team, and uh, I'm here to be a resource for you. Please reach out to me. I'm happy to uh, answer questions or um, provide you some advice. Take care now. Have a great day.